Next, I'd like to demonstrate total internal reflection. To do that, let's look at this diagram here. Here I have a beam of light as if uh, coming up uh, to a surface here from a uh, higher density medium, such as uh, maybe a piece of glass or a piece of plastic, or it could even be something coming up from the, below the surface of water and into air. Here's a beam of light that comes up here, and notice that some of the light gets reflected. Angle of reflection equals angle of instance, of course. But some of the light makes it out and gets refracted. Now I want to show you what happens when I increase this angle of incidence, this angle of refraction is also going to increase, and we're going to increase the angle of refraction to where it becomes 90 degrees. At that point, we have total internal reflection, and no light gets refracted, but all of the light will get reflected. Let's see how that works. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate with the blackboard uh, optic system here. To do that, I'll turn the lights down for better contrast. And I want to uh, take a, uh, a prism here. I'm going to let the light shine through, uh, enter one side of the prism, the surface here, and then uh, strike the back surface over here. Let's see what happens when the light does that. So the light comes up and refracts toward the normal line as it uh, enters the prism. And then it comes over and strikes this other surface over here. Now, as that light beam uh, gets, uh, comes in toward this surface here at a steeper and steeper angle, the angle of refraction also increases. Imagine that angle with respect to a normal line getting larger. And that angle increases until that angle becomes 90 degrees. And then that refracted beam will just graze along the surface and actually it'll just disappear at that point. And there we have total internal reflection. So the light beam comes up here and reflects from the back surface totally, comes down here and reflects again totally and goes back out in this direction. This is the way the prisms in a, a, a pair of binoculars works. They behave like mirrors, total internal reflection. Partial internal reflection, total internal reflection. Now, it turns out that if I take a, a, a piece of plastic here that has a square corner on it, and uh, this plastic has an index of refraction sufficiently high, that it turns out it's impossible for light to come up, enter one side, and pass through an adjacent side. We get total internal reflection. No matter how I orient that, the light will come up, and the refraction is so great that it strikes this other surface at an angle uh, greater than the critical angle, and no light comes out this back surface over here, no matter how I try to orient it to get it out through there. Again, total internal reflection. Now, let me uh, do one more experiment on total internal reflection. Here I have a laser beam. I'm going to let the laser beam shine through this piece of plastic where I have it bent in such a way that ideally it would strike each part of the surface here at the critical angle or greater, and it would totally internally reflect and keep reflecting, bouncing all the way around, going in straight lines as it goes through, reflecting off of each uh, surface until it finally comes out this end over here. To see that, I'm going to turn the lights down again. And uh, I'm going to let the laser beam enter here and come out over here. So you'll see this, uh, this little uh, surface here light up as the light comes out through that surface. Laser beam misses it. The laser beam goes through it. Total internal reflection. Almost. Notice there's some uh, scattering that takes place because this is a little bit scratched up. So some of the light does leak out. And so in order to use the fiber optics uh, appropriately, you have to have very smooth surfaces without any scratches, without any blemishes, so that indeed the light will strike at each point such that you get total internal reflection and you can pipe light all the way around and, and pass light through great distances with total internal reflection.